Hey guys, welcome to the Flat Top King. Hey, today is all about a Western burger. We're gonna do homemade buttermilk fried onion rings, cheddar bacon barbecue sauce. You guys, stay tuned. Man, just sounding that out loud just got me feeling all kind of good today. All right, first things first, let's talk about it. We got some ground beef for our burgers. Got some good old Rufus Teague today. Trying him out for the first time. Uh, some cheddar cheese, a little thick cut. And then we got some thick cut bacon. All right, with the onion rings, here's my uh, buttermilk soaked onion rings. They've been soaking for a couple hours. Uh, let me show you how I did that real quick. All right, this is how we make the onion rings. Just go ahead and trim your edges, take the skins off. And now we're gonna make thin medallion slices. You don't have to be super thin, just thin enough to where you can get a nice thin style onion ring. After that's done, we'll put them all in a bowl, cover them with buttermilk and let them set for a couple hours in the refrigerator. All right, then here's my panko. Let me show you that real quick. With the panko, I just measured a half cup. Just put it in my little uh, blender and just uh, pulsed it really good. All right. So this is one cup of flour. You guys can check out our recipe at theflattopking.com. We have all those ingredients listed that we're going to add to this. Um, basically, what happened was we bought buttermilk to make our homemade ranch. Shameless plug. This is on the website, too. It is phenomenal. It's set up for a couple of days. It's, it's just everything that you'd want it to be. That's on the potato wedges post. Is it? Is that what it was? Yes. All right. Well, we so look up the potato wedges if you want the homemade ranch. Because my wife said if we make the onion rings, what about like some ranch dressing? I'm like, oh, what about it? You know, like you can only go so many ways. All right. So we're talking about un homemade onion rings. Oh, I bought the buttermilk. And then if you only use buttermilk for one recipe, you got to think of different ways to do it. We've done pancakes. We've done the cornbread. And I'm like, man, we haven't done onion rings in a long time. So that was on my palate cleansing for the last couple days. And it is a windy day today, so. It is, a lot be, of things Might going. be a little noisy. All right, so with that panko, what happens is, the panko itself is a little bit larger. I wanted a finer texture when it comes to onion rings, thinly sliced. And I also do want to mention before we go ahead, this is one of the very few times where I actually agree that you should season your flour, because it depends on the surface area. It's really hard to season onion rings when they come out of the fryer, just because the surface is so small. So today we're gonna to season our flour. So one cup of flour, we did a half a cup of the pulsed, um, what do you call it? Panko crumbs, half teaspoon of black pepper, one tablespoon of salt, half teaspoon of that Lowry's seasoned salt, half teaspoon of granulated garlic, and a half teaspoon of paprika for color. Just give that a mix. And that's some good seasoned flour right there. All right, so our flour's done. Just come back here with these onion rings. Probably do two different batches. You just want to coat them really well. All right, we're looking at about 360, somewhere through there, 365. Just fry these in two batches. For the oil temp? Yep. All right, we got our bacon down. Obviously, you guys know that we like our bacon crispy. Our under rings are still frying. Once our bacon's done, our under rings should be pretty close. All right, the last batch is coming out. I was worried a little bit there for a second. We weren't gonna have enough onion rings. As you can <laughs> tell, that original batch looks a little thin. We were snacking. That dang ranch dressing's on point. With that horseradish in there. Woo! Hang on, onion rings look good. All right, let me get cleaned up real quick. Just a quick recap, we got our onion rings done, we got our bacon done. I went ahead and mayonnaised our brioche buns for a little mayonnaise action. I'm gonna hold these off to the side, start getting those toasty. Now the star of the show, the whole reason why we're here.
You don't have your smasher, honey. No, nope. I left it inside the house. No, I'm not looking for like a super thin smash burger. I just want more of the circumference. We'll get a little Maillard reaction. I'm not really worried about that that too much. All right, just come back in and season with your favorite seasonings. If you ever want to float your boat. Let these cool down for a second. Woo! All right, guys, let's build it. Take some of that barbecue sauce. I'm gonna do it on both sides, so it's not gonna be a big deal. Those nice toasted buns. Makes a perfect landing zone for those juicy burgers. Woo! Let me tell you something. You've been fitting bigger things in your mouth for years. Oh, <laughs> I've seen the bites that you take. All right. Top it all off. There you go. One of the very few cooks where you get excited before you even make it, this is one of them. Whew. You say cut it? You may cut it? Well, are you going to just eat it like that? Oh, yeah. That's one of them burgers that come to the table. You just know you just got to unlock. You got to get the stance, too. Hmm. I mean, yeah, it's good, but... I mean, is the world greatest? I don't know. You try it. I think the flavors are perfect. I don't know. Maybe it's just not my style. I know a lot of people like them. I think I wasn't work that hard to eat. Good Lord of mercy. We could add two of these stacked on each other. I think that mouth opened up. Hmm. I mean, I guess for my say, I guess I'd rather have the onion rings separate. And then my ranch dressing is legit. I know that. Or ketchup or a spicy ketchup. I don't know. Am I crazy? What do you think? Yeah, I think I just like a regular smash burger better. It's good. Let me try another bite. <laughs> oh, I mean, just something different. I enjoyed making it. I wouldn't order it. Mm -hmm. I would order something else. Do you think I, it needs a different barbecue sauce? I mean, I thought the apple might pair good with the cheddar. That's kind of like my idea in the background, but... I wanted a sweeter barbecue sauce. I think you've got a tangy, vinegary one. It wasn't going to be able to cut through as much. I kind of like the sweetness in the background. I actually like the barbecue sauce. Maybe it's just a texture thing. You could fry up some jalapenos to mix with it. I think that would be good because the sharpness of the jalapenos, I don't know. Heck, not everything you make, you like. doesn't mean that somebody else might not come along and try it and think it's the best they've ever had. 
All right, you that's know, just my opinion. It looks good. <laughs> Did everything I could. I mean, I, I, I think I would just rather have a classic smash burger. The onion rings on the side. Uh, I still think it would be a good well, barbecue Well, take the onion rings off the, real quick and then try it. Uh, yeah. Guys, we have a join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time to do and so. Uh, check us out on the Griddle Group on Facebook where you go back and forth, talk about ideas, new griddles, cooking, you name it. Heck, it's where somebody's going to say, man, I really like it. I really don't like it. I like your spin. I don't like your spin. This is just one of them. It's just not for me. You know what would be good, though? Instead of frying the onion rings, just do caramelized onions. I mean, that might be something, too. I, I mean, I would probably, yeah. I mean, for those onion rings are so good. I just think, I don't know, maybe some ranch dressing, some spicy ketchup, something. Anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound the notification button. Share it with your friends. Peace. Anyone stop me from eating it? I can tell you that. Ha, ha, ha.